So one of the reasons I love Blue Valentine, Derek and Yard's last movie, is it's so textured, it's so realistic, and you guys have managed to do it again in this movie. And I'm kind of curious how the process changed, but how you guys continue to keep it real and kind of like live the movie, it sounds like, the whole way through. Well, I mean, I got to give, that's, that's all Derek, you know. I, the, Derek, the, the filmmaker, is, uh, has a very unique uh, process. And, uh, um, you know, he sort of, uh, it's hard to kind of, I guess, explain how much effort it takes for a filmmaker to create something that feels so effortless. But the filmmaking in this movie, just it's kind of invisible, you know. And yet it is, to achieve that is... Uh, is is like the cinematic equivalent of a bank heist. <laughs> well, it sounded like the preparation on a movie like Blue Valentine was pretty intricate and kind of put you through the grind. Did this movie have the same kind of process? Like, what were you and Derek doing off camera that helped it work on camera? Well, he just, you know, he, he creates an environment where uh, the actors have to try and meet the level of realism of the people that are in the scene. You know, he, you know, in most movies, uh, you know, like uh, if there's, let's say you're walking down the street, those are all extras and they've all been told not to bump into you. And so there's no way that anything unplanned is going to happen. You know, there are no real accidents. Maybe a plane flies overhead, but even in that case, they cut, you know. And with Derek, he tries to create a situation where there's torpedoes all the time, torpedoing the scene, stopping it from becoming what it's uh, supposed to be. Is that kind of irksome for you on other movies where you, you wish you could futz around though and have spontaneity the way you do working with Derek? I mean, is it limiting not to be able to kind of interact with extras or have them come from a real place? I guess it depends on the tone of the film, you know, if the film is more like you know, which I think most films are in general, more like a kind of like a dream, you know, then then that works, you know. But 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 Derek's films are much different, and and uh, you know, it's much it's hard because it's 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 in some ways it's much easier because the environment and the people around you and he are doing this kind of work for you. You just have to sort of react to what's happening. Nothing, nothing that you have to do to heighten. Yeah, there's the never moment. any emotional marks you have to. There's nothing. There's something in the scene that says, "Oh, like," and then he cries. You know, like if that happens, it happens because it just happened. It's never. You never feel these like a uh, uh, these emo emotional marks. And I know you're setting off to make your own movie soon. How has working with Derek and some of these other people you've collaborated with multiple times kind of influenced your own um, instincts for directing a movie? I mean, it's these, you know, these, every time you work with Derek, you have to f just really put aside everything you think you know and start again. And uh, I've learned, it's hard to explain exactly how much I've learned from him, you know, but it's been a, it's a lot. And, and it's only really now in doing, in doing it myself that I realize exactly how much work <laughs> it, 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 it is that he puts part? in it. What a nightmare it would be to work with somebody like me. What's well, been the hardest? about like preparing to shoot a movie. I feel like it's it's not as much spontaneity or, or gut think, instincts in the prep. Well, I think it's casting is the hardest part because it's that is your that's your movie, you know. And uh, I was I was nervous up until uh, I got this cast, and now I'm just excited because you can't lose with them. They're, they they really are. The, I love all of them, and uh, I just can't wait to see them in a movie together.